Adding physics to stuff like skirts or hair can be a pain in the ass, and I usually manually animate them. But now you can add basic physics within seconds that work in real time. Have a bunch of bones on a model you imported that needs physics fast? Two clicks and you've added them. But say you don't want the hair to phase through their head, switch to weight paint mode and simply paint the boxes where you want things to stay up. This is very useful for anime style hair that has a unique form to it. Weight paint the boxes where you need to, although it's a bit sensitive, and the physics will do their job and keep their form. Now what about complex movements where the physics require more control from the animator? You can gracefully turn the IK influence off for the bones you want, control any problems, then gradually turn the influence on again. Unlike other physics setups, this scales with the character. And on top of all that, it's game engine compatible. I've been testing this setup with Unreal Engine, and what Min helped me create here is the fastest, lightest, most straightforward physics I've ever used in Blender. And it's free. Unless you want to tip us based on how many hours you saved. Now let's begin the tutorial. When you enable the plugin, the Bone Physics tab will show up on the right side of the viewport. It starts blank until you click on an armature and enter edit mode. Now let's select some hair and hit initialize. This will spawn all the boxes in their correct locations. Nothing is connected yet, so no need to worry about order of bones or anything. The boxes also spawn based on the size of the bone, but we do have scaling and rotation adjustments so you can get a better starting collision. Although it is one box at a time when edited here, you can edit these boxes whenever you like. Delete collision boxes, well it does what it says on the tin. Bake collision boxes. Now this will attach the physics IK to the bones and everything, and you can now hit play and see the results in real time. And now the bake with pull target setting allows the bones to follow the individual rotations of the boxes. This is great for keychains and gun charms. Now when baking, the selected bones are going to have a combined mesh for easy cloth physics editing, but this is best when all the bones have the same parent like the head. If they don't, then, well I don't know, the physics just kind of hang there, but it's easy to solve it. All you have to do is bake the dangly stuff that's on top of your dangly stuff separately. Yeah, but what if we don't want the hair to fall into their own head? Let's enter weight paint mode. What's important here is that you make sure your vertex group is highlighted on pin. The boxes will have red points on each top to show what keeps them, well, pinned. Now let's set the brush to mix or add and paint a bit on the box that we want to. And you're done. Another cool thing is that you can paint and get results in real time. Alright, what about full control when the animator needs it? Physics aren't going to be perfect everywhere, so let's not stress on them needing to be perfect at every moment and rebaking the whole thing when they're not. What I love to do is going to just before those glitchy moments, then select the IK bones I'd like to control and create a keyframe for the IK influence and location and rotation scale. Unfortunately, we haven't figured out automating turning us on for all the bones selected at once yet. But a cool thing to have is turning on view sliders in the dope sheet so you have easy access to what was turned on. Cutting in from the future. But after breaking some things and testing a few times, I found a workflow for easier multi-IK influence stuff. Select all the bones, adjust the influence, then right click it and do copy to selected. That last bone will influence all the other bones that are selected to the same thing. This doesn't register all the keyframes to the dope sheet though. But, if you select all of the affected IK in the dope sheet, and then hit key selected frames, which I recommend adding the quick favorites instead of hitting I all the time, then you can multi-keyframe all those changes. Very useful. And now you can gradually turn those physics off for full control, and then bring them back when you need them. Or if they're in the right position again, and nobody will notice. Honestly, I spent a long time thinking this through, and then Min helped me make it reality. Thank you for checking this out. And play Gravity Rush!